Listen, listen, good evening, good evening, family. I just stopped to take a little break right quick. Your little country bunker sister is getting exhausted. I'm going to take me a nap. <laughs> After I make this video, I'm going to take me like a 30-minute nap and get back to my work. <clears throat> but <clears throat> the top of my morning started off busy after i finished my reading i had to i then went and got my chicken straight and sanitized about 60 50 60 something eggs and then i had to jump on my paperwork because i got paperwork that i was falling behind on from july august and september i got july completed i got august uh 95 percent completed and then i'll finish up september finish up august and september after i take my nap but um, while I'm doing my paperwork and stuff, you know, I just sit there and listen to my music. And every now and then I'll look at my phone, respond to many of you guys' comments and things like that, acknowledge you. And, I, and this message is specifically for my sister, but some of you probably, you know, it'll go well with you as well. But um, particularly for you, sister, I love you. You said, um, I forgot your name again but you said you're sitting there watching many of my videos you find comfort as you're juggling through betrayal and the pain that you're dealing with family hurt blah 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 and I want you to know what came to my spirit um when I got up to take my little break or whatever is you'll never be right for the wrong people you'll never be good enough for the wrong people and I know it's a heavy heart that you deal with but if, if 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 that's who God is using to soothe your little spirit and make you laugh and 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 give you comfort through the word through your little country bunking, first of all, I'm humbled and I'm honored, you know, because I'm just a little normal little country woman of God. That's it. Ain't nothing special about me, <laughs> other than I love our Father and you love Him too. But um, if He's using me to help soothe you through that, then glory be to God, you know, glory be to God. And, and the more you can keep yourself busy, keep your mind busy, it's going to keep your mind off of that pain. Because I know it's easy as hell. And it just takes the only thing that heal that pain of betrayal. And when you love people and poured into people who you thought you were building something with or who you thought you were showing your support and you were thinking that you, you were showing them the goodness that's on the inside of you, but really they were just soaking up all that you had to give or just wasting your time. It doesn't make you feel good. And the only way to really kind of heal that is just to give it time and stay in the word of God. Time will heal your heart. Yeah. And you'll be stronger and wiser than you were before. You'll learn how to test people's spirit. You'll have your guard up a little bit more. And you still may, you're still going to run across some people who just ain't who they say they are. But, you know, you'll know how to, to test their spirit just a little bit more. You know, my, my brother had me laughing. A few days ago, I was on this stop by his job site, and um, my, this is my brother from another mother. I personally don't have any biological siblings. I'm an only child from both my parents, but my brother from another mother, just a good-hearted brother. He's married with children, just a solid brother, loves his wife, just solid, and always would look out for me and give me good information and stuff like that. And so I stopped by his job site because I had to do something there. And uh, one of the guys that he supervises, he didn't know that my brother was a supervisor, but he kept saying, oh, I want your number. Oh, I want to talk to you later. What I say, well, go and talk to my brother and tell him what you want. And then you come back to me. <laughs> and when the guy came back, he was like, um, his, it's like his whole mask had done fell off. He wasn't who he was saying he would be before he found out who my brother was and i later learned what my brother told him was a lot of guys done tried to talk to her if you're not who you say you are she's gonna know it and so he couldn't even follow back up with all the things that he was saying prior to going to consult with my brother it's like his whole mask came off he didn't know which direction to go from there and um and because my brother also knew other things about him but anyway Lo and behold, long story short is what I share that to say, we become wiser in being um, just learning how to discern the spirit that people come in and what their motives in. We learn how to do that through past pain and, 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 and betrayals and the things that we grow up in life, the, the things that we, we learn through mistakes, our own mistakes and faults as well. So you're going to get stronger. And I want you to find things that um, make you laugh. I want you to find things like find other things to do. If you've had things on the inside of you, you know, be a big kid. 
you know, be a big kid, go out and explore, you know, don't allow yourself to be, um, care what other people think about you. If you want to try something that you never tried before, explore the side of you that you never tapped into before you and keep your resources to yourself. What God has for you is for you, but sometimes we can have, we have, we can have all the bricks we need to build our home and we end up letting this person borrow one. Then the next person want to come and borrow one. Then the next person want to come and get one. Then the next person want to come and get one. And then by the time we, every time we get focused on doing our thing, we got somebody to come and distract us and take from us, extract from us when really you should be keeping what you have on the inside of you and saving what you have so that you can complete what this what what it is that you desire to complete the desires that God has placed in your heart you know so explore this, the, the 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 how can i say it tap into yourself and explore the things on the inside of you that you never tapped into before do things by yourself that you never thought about doing by yourself before you know find things that keep your mind occupied and and keep stimulating your mind and growing your mind and and allow you to keep learning and like i said things that make you laugh laughter is truly a medicine i'm telling you laughter is a medicine and get out sometimes into the world while the weather is nice while we still got some nice temperatures and stuff sometimes get out go on walks and just walk with god and sometimes things are just going to come to your spirit you know, and share, you You know, if you've got brothers and sisters that you can, you know, that share with or that you can communicate with, then that's also a, a way to heal because we strengthen one another. You know, the Bible says forsake not the fellowship of the church. Doesn't mean that you have to be inside of a building with four walls, you know, and it's anybody who is a brother or sister, pure in heart, pure in spirit, you know, uh, that's, a, that's the church. That's the body of Yah, you know. And so if you're connected with people like that and you trust them enough to share certain things or you know that they're trustworthy with your intimate or private certain information, then you, you know, maybe take, it may help to, you know, have a listening ear sometimes, someone just to comfort you, you know, but most importantly, um, just keep going. Understand that you'll never be right for the wrong people. You'll never be good enough for the wrong people. And so it hurts. The betrayal hurts. It's painful. But at the same time, as you press your way through, it's going to make you stronger. And then you're going to know how to keep your heart guarded and not be so quick to give yourself over or not expect people to reciprocate who you are. Everybody can't do that. And as you have your pure soul, your empathetic soul, the reason you're feeling pain, the reason you feel hurt because you were all invested, you were all in. See, somebody who's with wicked intentions, somebody who's a user, a manipulator, they don't feel the same way. They really, they don't carry those same feelings. An empathetic person, you can even tap into other people's feelings uh, without even having any type of relation with them. You can feel other people's burdens, other people's pain, you know, because people can feel the purity of your soul. And oftentimes people may want to take counsel or find you uh, somebody to talk to. They just want you to talk to because it's rare that you come across pure souls these days, you know, and oftentimes it's so sad. You're left ho- holding that pain because that other soul, it was impure. If it was pure, it would have never handled you the way that it handled you. So understand you were right. They were wrong. You know, you were the right person, but you were not good enough because you could never be good enough for somebody who is not pure, you know, who's not wrong. It's always going to leave you feeling drained. And and eventually, really what happens is they walk out of your life, but it's a blessing for you, you know, because if they didn't betray you, if they didn't walk out, more than likely the, the type of heart that you have, you probably would have keep trying to find understanding in a circle situation. That's just a circle is never, you was never going to find understanding with somebody like that. You was never going to find an understanding with somebody who don't have your best interest at heart. They'll keep you going in circles for as long as you allow yourself to. And by that happening, that forces you now to move on and to cut ties and to let it go. It's painful, But sometimes we need to feel pain, you know, so that we can move on um, and and accomplish other things or tap into the better parts of ourselves and live peaceful, happy, fruitful, and productive lives. You know, there's some people that do just slow you down and just set you back and just drain you. But when you move on and you can get over that hump, 
which is that pain of betrayal. Time will heal that. As you get over that, you're going to be much better. You're going to feel much better. But in the meantime, fighting your way through that time to heal it, you need to find more things to do. Add more things on your plate. Keep moving, you know. Keep moving in a world that's just so full of, um, you know, hate, greed, envy, jealousy. It's just so much, you know. But when you keep yourself busy, you be too busy to even absorb a lot of that stuff. You be too busy to let that pain keep settling on you, right? So that's just my little two cents. God bless you. I love you. Let's keep moving. Let's be productive, focusing, you know, staying focused on what we got going on. You know, there's a lot that I got to keep uh, focusing on in my own life. I'm trying to get organized. And there's a lot of different things that I really want to get organized and get done before the year is out. And October, well, November and December are like two really hectic months for me towards the end of the year. They're very, very hectic, busy. I have a lot of things that I have to get organized before the 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 this fiscal year ends so um you know just just stay focused and keep moving don't allow yourself to be distracted you know um and what doesn't kill us only makes us stronger so i love you if i could hug you so tight right now you know i would hug you so tight but hug yourself say i am loved i am fearfully and wonderfully made i am more than enough i'll never be right for the wrong people Cause you will never be right for the wrong people, baby. And it's unfortunate. We got people out here, they don't care about other people. You know, with some people out here, all they want to do is keep folk, some folk close to them. And they just want to drain their resources from them. And while they steady step on those folk next and keep climbing up, keep climbing up. You know, use your resources for yourself. You know, focus on being debt free, getting out of debt, not owing no man or no woman nothing. Focus on being debt free. When you find yourself, you've paid off everything, all your creditors, you're debt free. Then focus on ask God to give you business ideas and 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 connect you with people who can teach you how to invest. And He'll do it when when it's right. He'll do it. You know, I I met a um a guy when I went to get some water, um when I went to Healing Spring. This guy, he's younger than me. But he just started talking about, he was explaining his investments and his portfolio and how he invests in the stock market and how he has these different types of crypto. And and I and it's just all over my head. You know, um, one of my doctors who's very successful, he and his brother are investors. They invest in so many different things. And he was telling me about, um, uh, I think I shared it on here, Fidelity, and I forgot the stock he was saying. But it see me, it takes a t- t- that stuff goes over my head. So I have to really, really sit and and learn and and be able to ask questions. And then it has to be several follow up conversations. But this young man, out of the blue, he just wanted to connect with me and just start talking. So I know it wasn't nothing but God. You see what I'm saying? At the appointed time, God, all when you are walking with God, um, He will always put somebody on your path when He wants you to pour into them. Or when he wants them to pour into you or when you when you just need to learn something, you know. And throughout the course of my life, I've always been someone who's helped and poured into my brothers and sisters, younger and older. You know, I've, if I know something and I can share it with you, I'm going to share it. If I can't tell you nothing to help you, I never tell you nothing to harm you. You know, I fear God too much for that. I want to go to bed with my, I can, when I go to bed, I sleep good at night. I don't have to toss and turn and and be all stressed out. And I don't have to sit back and watch people and think about how I can bring them down. That that if that if I was that type of person, my heart wouldn't be pure. See, I would know that my fate, I would have nothing but destruction, but a but a terrifying thing to look for look toward on my latter end. See, I don't want to live this life and be greedy and be selfish and, and just be focused on coming up in this worldly stuff. And losing myself. The Bible says, what does a prophet of man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? And see, the way, the reason a lot of people are divided and isolated today, that's because people have drawn, withdrawn their love. See, people's love has turned cold. People not loving on people no more. They loving things. See, they love things. And so that's why we have so much hate and wars and, and rumors of wars and, and division you know, the safest place to be, I feel now, is just living a simple life. 
living in simplicity. I was thinking after I read this morning, uh, I was reading in, I'm on second Maccabees. Actually, <clears throat> I read up into second Maccabees and how, uh, you know, uh, oh, on Yahoo or Yahoo, how the, everything was going good, how he was a holy man living righteous and shimmying. Everything was peaceful in the land. Everybody had order, all the priests and everything. They had a fund set up where they would supply for the, the, the fatherless children and the widows, you know, and then Shimon who had wickedness going on. He had a wicked heart. He got mad because he, him and, um, uh, Oyahu, the king fell out. So what he did, he took his r wicked rump and went and started slandering Oyahu name. Oyahu ain't did nothing to him. He did nothing to this man was running this country, running the land. Everybody was doing good, buying, selling, trading. No wickedness was going on. You know, he kept everything in order. They kept sacrificing, you know, to God. They were living in obedience. And he go, he go and take one man, start slandering him and lying on him to the other king and went and get in the other king's ear and lied about the money and how he had more than what he was, you know, documented and stuff like that and started this big whole chaos caused so much confusion and trouble in the hearts and grief in the hearts of God's people. But eventually God set it back on track, you know, but it still caused a lot of chaos and division and, and, and grief, you understand? And so, like Solomon said, after I finished right now, I was just thinking what Solomon said. You know, at some, some point, Solomon got depressed. Solomon was dealing with depression. You know, some people say frustration, or he was just overwhelmed. But he said, you know, everything is vanity. He said, it's all vanity. Might as well drink wine and be merry. <laughs> drink wine, eat, and be merry. It's all vanity, you know? And you got people nowadays, they become so lifted up in pride over material stuff and it's sad when you see some of those folk who are in certain positions lift themselves up in pride and 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 look down on certain brothers and sisters or try to criticize or or be cruel towards their brothers and sisters um because they're lifted up in pride over material things you know or they criticize their brothers and sisters um you know it's just so much uh, hate, you know, the Bible warns us of this. So really it is nothing new under the sun. Like Solomon said, you know, it's nothing new under the sun. In the last days, people's love will wax cold. And that's why we have so much, you know, people are isolated. People are divided. People don't trust anymore because you have so much impurity, so much wickedness, so much greed, so much selfishness, so much sabotage, envy and jealousy is is released in the earth so you have god's people who just want to live a simple and independent and self-sufficient life you just have to stay focused on what is in your hand be content with what you have and god will still prosper you in the midst of all of the evil but see what happens is when evil gets an eye a whiff of your gifts or we or what you're managing they will try to frustrate you you know you have these opposers but prayer you know, I always say you pray and just move around them. You know, nothing gets under the enemy's skin more when he cannot stop you. When you steady, when you, after all that he throws your way and you get back up, pack it under your feet and you keep on going. You keep moving. And God sees how you press through. He sees how many of us, we press through in the midst of unwarranted adversity. He sees that. He see how we press through when we are hated without a cause. He see how we press through when we are slandered for unjust reasons, just like Anyahu was slandered by Shimon because Shimon fell out with him. He couldn't, the scripture says in the book of Maccabees, you can read it second, if you got second Maccabees chapter three, I think it started at chapter three. He says when he could not overcome Anyahu, see they fell out. He was wicked and there was strife that he wanted to start, but over Anyahu had everything in such order. Well, he couldn't start strife in the, in the earth. And when he could not overcome on you, he went and he slandered his name. See, because when somebody slanders your name, they're assassinating your character. See, and when somebody assassinates your character, they are trying to kill you. They are a spiritual murderer. 
Because when they can kill your name, when they can turn folk against that name, folk who don't even know you, and they recruit folk to get angry with you by what they heard, they are assassinating your character. They are lying on you, you see? And it hurts when you are truly innocent. You know, last night I saw this thing where, um, it's okay, baby. I saw this thing where Tyrese said something. Um, I think he was on a, he said he was on a breakfast club or something. And I didn't watch the interview when he was on there, but he said, um, I just, it just popped up in my feed last night. And I'm like, why is this popping up? Cause after I finished praying and I was reading, I, I was up for a minute last night. And some just told me to listen to it. And I listened to what he said. And I could, when he started to talk, I could tell he was speaking from a place of pain. He was hurt, but he was upset at the, and he had every right to be upset, but he was upset at the fact of, um, envy and i don't know anything about this guy but he said his name dj envy i do know names carry spirit but the guy said that he uh tyree said that he threatened to box him in his mouth for disrespecting his wife and tyrese was so hurt he said it, it drained him when he got home he didn't have peace see because for one if this guy said that he said it openly publicly to the whole world on his whatever platform he has, he said it openly to the whole world. So therefore, he put that misinformation out there. And now anybody who maybe have was his supporters will be looking at Tyrese in a funny way. And so when Tyrese got home, the thing troubled his spirit. And he said, I know I never disrespect. I'm not that type of person. I will never disrespect anybody's wife. He said, I didn't even disrespect him. He said, so it made me go back. Because sometimes when you're accused of something and you know you did nothing wrong, there are sometimes people will accuse you of something. I'm not saying this is the same issue, but I know I've been in situations that's been shocking where I've had folk who's supposed to be leaders in the church that have watched me in secret and have tried to find a way to start an issue with me or undermine me because they personally did not like me or they wanted to limit stop me from growing or stop what God was doing in my life. So they tried to find an issue with me or they came at me, threw a stone at me and insulted me. And then if I clap back, they tried to make it look as if I was the problem. And there have been folk who are in, who had a greater amount of influence. They've watched little old me and they've taken stories and things that I've broken down and shared from the Bible. And they've went and tried to reshare those same things, but twisting certain things in a way as if it was different. You know, um, but, and I, and God allowed me to see all of that. And I was shocked. So that showed me that them, those people, regardless if they have the title of a prophet or whatever, they're not healed. So I just move around that. You see what I'm saying? Because it's no, it's, it's a very dangerous thing to start an issue with somebody and throw a stone at somebody who never did anything to you. And on top of that, try to make them look like the problem because you may have a greater influence and then, so therefore, if you have a greater influence and you have more people that you can try to sabotage this person's name with, same thing Shimon did to Anya. So you can sabotage this person's name and then that way you can kill this person, die, make this person die out, stop them. But let me tell you something, people, when they do that to you, that is showing you that spirit is in them is not aligned with the spirit of God. No true prophet of God will operate from a place like that. But anyway back to Tyrese. So he pulled up all of his receipts, all of his text messages. And I can understand why he did it. He didn't show the messages. So he pulled it up and look at the dates because his heart was in the right place. I could just discern all of that. He pulled it up because he also wanted to check himself. Like, let me, could I have done this? Because when you, he knows that's not a part of his character, but when somebody is that angry with you or speaking to you as that such, it confuses, it throws you off because it's like, well, well, can you say what I did? And he said, when he asked the guy, can you say what I did? He said, he, he never could say exactly what he did. So it's like, now this thing is weighing on him, that, that negative energy for him. What he did was he projected on Tyrese. And so now Tyrese left there feeling heavy, feeling his misery because whatever's going on with that guy, he's in that place and he brought that to Tyrese. So now Tyrese goes home, he looks at all of these messages and he's clear. He cleared himself, see? But now when somebody has put something out in the court of public opinion in the whole, in the universe, in the world, because they have a big platform, that's hurtful. That's painful. 
But based off of what Tyrese has presented, I could, the totality of what I was able to discern and put together, he was only trying to help this brother. And he was not disrespectful to him or his wife because if he was, that level of communication, it wouldn't, the responses that he was receiving, it wouldn't have been as such. And that communication would have been cut off. Who's going to continue to disrespect a man that, uh, who's going to continue to communicate a man that disrespects them? No woman will do that. A woman will not give her ear to a disrespectful man, not give her attention to a disrespectful man, you see? And so I just shared that as an example. We are all human beings. It doesn't matter what status somebody has in life. It doesn't matter how much money somebody has in life. There's evil and there is good. There is wickedness and there is good. There are wicked hearts and there are pure hearts. And for those of you that operate from a place of purity, understand this, baby. You have a promise the promise keeper has said in Matthew 5 and 8, blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see Christ. Why do you think that is written? If it is written, blessed are the pure in heart, that tells you that there are some folk whose hearts are desperately wicked and they make it uncomfortable for us who are just trying to get by day after day. We ain't competing with nobody. We ain't looking down on nobody. We don't think we better than nobody. And see, when you are faithful with little, God will constantly increase you with more and more. And there are some people when they see God increasing you, they want to put a cap on that. They want to stop that because maybe they are above you and they are experiencing certain increase, but they don't have the same integrity like you have. They don't have the same pureness of heart like you have. They don't operate from a place of honesty like you operate. They don't operate from that place of purity. See, there are some people who did anything they could do to big themselves up. There are some people who sat back and strategized and said, hmm, if I connect with him over here, he has a greater influence for me. So if I connect with him and bring him in, like I want to learn from him, then I will gather, gain his influence. And they go and they strategize and they do, they get close to somebody. And if that person ain't really operating in discernment or just really paying no attention like that, they will connect with that person who's full of pride, who's whose motives is not right, that person will gain their influence. And then as they equal that person's influence that they once said that they had respect for or that they once deemed a friend, then they will be trying to take little digs at that same person who they use to bring them up some. See what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I sit back and watch a lot of different things. And I just keep looking right here. And I stay in my own little lane. Some of them same folk who was throwing stones at me, I seen how they move and they know I see them for who they are. And see, sometimes people don't like when you can see them for who they are. You see what I'm saying? They don't like the fact that they got everybody else food. They don't work witchcraft on everybody else's mind. But when it come to you, oh, they can't pull it from you. See, everybody else might be walking and moving around and they don't see that that's a snake just slithering through. But you see that snake and you's on guard. You, you prepared to cut the head off of it if you have to, but because you over here staying on your lane and it ain't coming all the way over here, but it's keep trying to creep around. It may even try to hiss and snap and spit. See, but you just keep batting it back, batting back, whatever they spin. You got, you, you got your whole arm on, you're hitting it back. Some people don't like that. So anyway, I just wanted to share that my sister. I know I went all off around and what I started about talking about what you was going through, but be encouraged. It's so many different people going through so many different things. Understand on people who are, who, 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 whose name nobody really knows and people whose name people know. It's a lot of people that's going through so many different things in the earth right now. And all we could do is just keep doing what we do, being content with what we have, letting our light shine. Darkness is going to always be threatened by the light. And when you are doing what's right, not saying that you're perfect, you you never gonna be good enough for 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 what's wrong for those that are wrong. You never gonna be good enough. They may even try to do things to keep you alone. You be like, why don't they just won't let me go if they don't like me? Why they just won't leave me alone if they don't like me? You know why they just won't stop watching me if they don't like me? Because there's something on the inside of you that they still wanna draw from. They are takers. See. They are takers and then they will go over here and try to what they take from you. They will go over here and try to spin it and take withdraw from other people, you know, 
they are they are taker. There are a lot of selfish people in the earth. And then when they feel like they can't take for you no more, they've used you all up. That's when you get betrayed. And they go on and they try to sabotage you sometimes. Or they just leave you like you were just nothing. So wrap your arms around yourself. You are love. Find things to keep your mind busy. Understand we're living in a world where the wheat, there's tears that have been sown amongst the wheat. Right? But we got something to look forward to. The righteous shall be recompensed in the earth. Keep your mind on what God is doing in your life and where he is leading you. You're only going to get better and better and even increase. Even in times of famine, the righteous will have plenty. Even in this earth right here. And wars and things that's going on, I know it's sad in it. I know it's, it's, it's a lot. But you just keep praying and try to focus it on the goodness that God is doing in your life. Focus on things that build your spirit up and make you feel joy and laughter. That's what keep me going. I stay focused on the word of God. I keep finding things to laugh about. And then I have a lot of other things that keep my attention, my mind busy that I have to get done. You know, so you ain't, you're too busy to be hating on other people. You're too busy to be trying to test somebody else down, you know, so just keep elevating. If nobody told you that they love you today on this beautiful Sunday, I'm telling you, your little country bunking sister loves you. It's only one of you in this whole wide world. Keep shining bright. Don't ever let your light grow dark. And we know that the blood of Jesus, Yeshua, our friend, our brother, and our savior, his blood is the only blood that has power. Have a blessed day. Enjoy. Well, this is my first day of the week and it's kind of hectic. Um, but it's, you know, I'm getting stuff done. I don't like paperwork. <laughs> But enjoy your day. If it's your rest day, enjoy your rest. If you're still relaxing, if you start your week tomorrow, well, get rested up and get prepared for tomorrow. Have a blessed day.